Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF-17 and we're looking at the flight control system. We've got some really cool stuff that is going to make this plane sound like a bloody hotcake. So, our flight control system's down here. It's probably easiest if I just pause it. First of all is our config. As you all know, if you're in an air-to-air -air config, you want that set to air-to-air. -air. If you want air-to-ground, then you set that air to ground. If you've got um, wing fuel tanks, then air to ground two rather than air to ground one. And this is a way of configuring the plane, but it's actually used as an override in theory. Next, we've got your trim here, which is just a your trim button, which is there for some reason. We've also got test switches here and the ability to reset the flight control system. Also, we've got built in test here and we can turn on and off recording there but what we're really looking at today is these three here and what they can do what we've got in this aircraft is full of fly-by-wire in the pitch only and this is something similar to like a, a flanker would have fly-by-wire in a pitch but not in the roll and not in the yaw what we do have in the roll and the yaw is augmentation if you like stabilization or dampening maybe a better word for that and this guy here direct link so if you want your EFCS, as it's called, Enhanced Flight Control System, if you like your fly-by-wire and overall control system on, then auto. If you want to turn it off, then put that switch down. If you put that switch down, remember, you've got no fly-by-wire. At that point, you can do pretty much anything you want. And like in the flanker, when you turn the fly-by-wire and pitch off, then it just goes crazy. But it allows you to do some amazing moves, as you'll see in a minute. If you want roll and your augmentation off, you can turn that off. To be honest, I would always suggest, unless you really know what you're doing, just leave that on. To be honest, it just makes it a bit crap to fly. This is probably the most interesting one because it's direct link. So, assuming EFCS is on, so it's on auto, we do not have direct link to our horizontal stabilizers back there. It's all controlled through the computer. If we turn it to direct link, we will have direct link of them, but only if we are above a critical angle of attack of 27 degrees. So with fly-by-wire or EFCS in auto and direct link on or off, fly-by-wire will main control up to 27 degrees. If you get above 27 degrees, for instance, if you're in a spin, which is what we're going to look at today, you can push this little guy here on and you will get then full control of your surfaces and it will allow your full control to be able to get out the spin so to get into this it's very hard to get into a spin in this aircraft because the fly-by-wire system is genuinely excellent so we're going to turn the fly-by-wire off temporarily to get into a spin then we're going to show you how to get out of a spin using direct link uh, once we've turned the fly-by-wire back on okay well first of all let me show you just flying normally power on this is fly-by-wire on i cannot crash this aeroplane there's nothing i can do to crash this aeroplane even if i went up and stalled it'll pretty much take itself out of the stall it's an incredibly intelligent angle system attack. now look at the angle attack at the top left of the hud it's angle keeping attack. me below 27 and betty's angle uh amy's attack. uh warning me about it obviously angle okay angle. so nothing i can do to crash the aeroplane now this will change everything watch this warning warning get ready now we've got big warning, problems on the boil angle attack. Warning. This will never end well. I'm going to almost certainly go into a flat spin and I'm in a flat spin. I'm in an unrecoverable flat spin as it stands. And that's what happens when you turn the fly-by-wire off in a jet in this. Now, the only problem I've got here, I've just realized I've done this at about 4,000 feet, which is really stupid. But let me show you the essence of what I'm going to try and do. What I'm going to do is now turn the fly-by-wire back on so the systems are all working again. Then I'm going to go to direct link because my alpha is high 60 plus degrees uh, and then i'll get full control of the stabs back there and i might get a chance at uh recovering so i have to do this real quick so that on straight link on now i've got full control like a mustang or something and i might be able to get out of it come on cap come on cap i did it Woo! So if we get in a spin, like I said, it's very hard to get into a spin with your fly-by-wire. But, you know, if it does happen, you know, wake turbulence, uh, um, a dogfight, you know, all kinds of weird things are going to happen. The first thing you can do once your alpha's got uncontrollable, i.e. above 27 degrees, is you bang on your direct flight uh, down there. Uh, technically, you actually just leave it on all the time. It doesn't actually work unless you're out of control above 27 degrees. And that's going to give me full horizontal stab. Uh, deflection so that I can get out of the spin as you saw there. So I hope that was useful. I'm just going to do a little more showing off and probably die. So I'm going to turn fly-by-wire off, power warning, on. Warning, warning, Watch warning, this. Warning. <laughs> My wings fell off. <laughs> 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 Chuckle. 
<laughs> and that is why you don't right. turn your fly-by-wire off. Not only does the fly-by-wire, if you look in the manual, it doesn't just do alpha control, it does G control, it does all, you know. So once that's gone, you'll just rip your plane to pieces. Right, go out there, turn your fly-by-wire off, be a complete dick like me, crash, and then learn how to get out of a spin with direct control. Thanks, bye.